guys like Josh Hubbard and, and Trey Ford and Andrew Taylor and guys like that, do you feel like that kind of improved you know, your outlook as an offense you know, with your able, ability to shoot the basketball? Uh, I think probably on paper, and I think most fans uh, are excited about you know, having more guys on paper that have shown the ability at different levels, obviously, to be able to knock down some, some jumpers. And it's no secret that you know, that was an Achilles heel for our team uh, last year. And you know, I'm not proud of, of that stat. We're proud of the fact that you know, we overcame some shooting woes, both from beyond the arc and from the free throw line, um, and, and still you know, had a really good season. And uh, I think that speaks volumes to the type of kids we had in our program in terms of their resiliency and their togetherness, their ability to win close games, their ability to um, just figure it out on the fly, even though you know it could have been a little bit easier if, if we knocked them down. But uh, it's also been you know, uh, a recruiting tool for us as well. Oh, hey, you can be different. You know, we need you. Um, certainly, we try to use that to our advantage as well. But um, I, again, you know, on paper is one thing; getting it on the court's another. Uh, we wouldn't have signed any of these guys if we didn't think they could move the needle. Um, but my experience says, you know, time will tell. You know, we're certainly getting excited about all of them. But you know, the longer I do this, the more I'm like, I need you know months to really understand you know who we have and what they're made of and what their daily is and. How mentally, you know, tough are they, and how organized can they be to, you know, handle the days that are thrown at them when they're not used to it? So, um, you know, here comes June first. We'll have a better idea of what we got. Steph, wrap us up. How have you seen you know, some of the returning guys who got that taste? You know, of March Madness guys like Shaq, Cam Matthews. You know, kind of respond in, in this off season as they kind of get ready. The Frogs who wanted to take another step forward next year. I mean, I think they're excited slash relieved. You know, for all of us, when we are a part of college basketball, that's always, you know, a goal to be a part of March Madness, to experience March Madness. And I said it many times since the season ended that I feel good that we were able to get that done for, you know, these guys that have never experienced it. We have one guy in our program as a player that had played in March Madness um, prior uh, to last season. So. For them to have those memories, to be able to, you know, put that bullet point on their resume, if you will, makes all of us feel really good. And uh, certainly, you know, we didn't stay as long as we wanted. We left some, some meat on the plate, if you will. And um, I think they're motivated. I, I think they know now kind of what it takes and what it could feel like if you were able to not only get in but, but advance. And we're a long way away from talking about anything like that. I mean, you know, we haven't obviously got our team on the floor. I have no idea what that's going to feel like. But uh, I do believe that the returnees are, are pretty excited about what happened and uh, are motivated going forward.